Okay, so Apple just released the update for the 2018 MacBook Pro, the one that I got upset about in return due to the issues it was having. Yo, first and foremost, Apple apologized and issued an update? That deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Yo, we gotta give it up for them. I can't believe Apple responded. Not as quick as I would have liked, but they actually responded. They took Dave Lee's information, same thing from a couple of other larger YouTubers. They took in their info, they took in their data, and they went in the lab and they tried to come up with a fix and correct this. And then they pushed it out yesterday. Depending on when you're watching this video, you know what I mean? A couple days ago, so forth, whatever. They pushed the update out. But I think you need a little bit more context on what this update is and what it's about and also the whole design and performance. Look at it, they put the i9 chip, they issued this update. So it is no longer jumping up and throttling and going nuts, it's able to keep a consistent base speed, which is fine. And you know, the performance is seconds to a couple of minutes more as of now from what I've seen from multiple tests. Here is the caveat to that. The i9 is capable of so much more, but the design of Apple's MacBook Pro won't allow for it to be, it won't allow it to be great. It allows it to be good and efficient, but not great. Intel allows this. They allow that their i9 chips, which are capable of a certain performance, being that they distribute to different manufacturers, different builds, different companies, different OSs, they allow these OSs to hinder the performance of their chips for the sake of optimization for that platform. This is okay by Intel. They're okay with the idea that if an i9 is in this build and an i9 is in that build and an i9 is in this build, that all three of those builds can perform differently. They're making custom specialized chips for Apple specifically, which allow Apple to optimize them to their, you know, their whole little ecosystem and the way that they like to run Apple products. They're choosing the brand, the look, the design, the sleekness that they're known for over performing. I'm not in no way defending Apple. Like I'm calling them out as well because they're advertising i9 six core at the base speed as well as a turbo boost of 4.x amount gigahertz. That's misleading. Anyone who is miseducated and unknowing will think that they have the capability of reaching those speeds. And truth of the matter is more than likely you will not. And Apple knows this, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, that is marketing. Any longtime Apple consumer or user knows about these things and these caveats. And at the end of the day, when a person chooses to use Apple, they're giving up a lot of performance for the Apple design as well as the Mac OS. Mac OS hands down is one of the biggest persuasion marks in me purchasing Apple products, like the OS in comparison to Windows, for me personally, it's hands down, Mac OS. So for those people out there who just, who highly dislike Apple for this very reason, for the fact that they hindered the performance of the chips that they put in their devices for the sake of design, that's your choice, okay. But I like, I don't understand why it's such a big deal to you. If you got your custom PC that you're so happy about, why is it, uh, like something that you just have to go around on every Apple related content and voice your opinion and your dislike for Apple. I think deep down inside, you want one. But the fact that you can't part with losing that performance that you're so connected to, that, that, that angers you. And then therefore results in a hate for Apple. <laughs> you can love it, you can hate it, but Apple packages it as it is and um, I think it's best to be educated on how Apple devices work which is what all of these videos all of these tests and reviews are here for to inform you maybe the miseducated maybe the unknowing maybe the I'm gonna wait until so-and-so tells me if it's okay it was perfectly fine to get these items as quick as we did to inform you of the issues we had as quick as we did and to get Apple to make action as quick as they did. I think you guys need to be thankful for the people who go out, <laughs> you know what I mean, on the edge for you and for ourselves as well in order to help get better service, customer service, better products, just better overall climate in the tech space for you. Be appreciative to that because there's a lot of investment 
money wise time wise and just overall there's just a huge investment to produce this content and it is for the betterment of this tech space the betterment of companies the betterment of consumer products so that's what's up that's dope i'm glad apple did that uh will i be going back to grab the macbook pro i9 no <laughs> i'm gonna sit tight with this iMac Pro. I'm going to uh, create content around and with that machine because it's very pleasing to me at the moment. I'm going to wait to see if Apple changes their design on a future MacBook Pro. You know, if they want to go for it with the best chip, I think this was a learning experience for them. And it might get them to consider reworking the insides to make it work or maybe offering a different build for those who really want that full optimal performance i found a machine that can do what i want it to do and i'm happy and that's it so i thank you for watching my name is cj this is cj knows tech i love to talk tech sneakers and anything creative hey hey and you trolls man go get a hobby bro <laughs>